Hello everybody, I'm Lord Pog and this is Lord Pog Gaming. I've been away for quite some time now and you may hear some background noises and things like that because I'm not really doing this video professionally. This is going to be more of a rant so if I lose my train of thought or I mess up or something you're going to have to forgive me. It's just... I need to talk about Skyrim real fast. As some of you fans of this channel know, I do an episodic web series based upon Skyrim and the lore behind Skyrim. Where I do, excuse me, <clears throat> oh, where I do a series about a character that exists within the world of Skyrim, within the world of Elder Scrolls, but he's not the Dragonborn. His name is Braxtus Maxus. And he was sent to Skyrim by his father Flavius from Bruma. Flavius was on his deathbed and he received a vision from Stendar. Flavius having been an ex-crusader for Stendar in High Rock and Hammerfeld and the Iliac Bay and all that. He, he sends his son Braxus to Skyrim saying that he's received a vision from Stendar that Braxus will find his destiny in Skyrim and then Flavius passes away and the whole point of the show was to be following Braxus around as he discovered his destiny within Skyrim and from time to time you get like little flashback episodes and see how his life was as a child in Bruma with Flavius because they exiled themselves to Bruma it was a pretty good show and I don't want to give more spoilers and and I'm saying it was a pretty good show I mean it, it seemed to get pretty good reviews and whatnot from the people that would comment on it plenty plenty of views uh and and, and the like I had oh, high hopes for this show the problem is is that Bethesda needs to keep running to the well that is Skyrim Apparently, it's flagship game, Star, Star, what, what is that, Star Voyage or some crap like that? I don't even know. I didn't, I didn't play it. Starfield, I think, is what it's called. I didn't play it. I didn't hear anything good about it, and I'm so jaded about new games coming out that I wait to see what people are going to say about it, and I didn't hear anything good. And as a result, Bethesda didn't make the kind of money off of Starfield that they thought they were going to make. So they feel the need to come in and drop a whole new update on Skyrim in an attempt to squeeze the players who are loyal to Skyrim and Elder Scrolls in general for more money by trying to sneakily make mods harder to use so you'll do their paid mods. And it's just really upsetting because since the update has happened, I have not been able to get Skyrim to to work properly. All the mods that I use, some of them are, are pretty old. They're, they're kind of dated, but they were working just fine. Now, you might ask yourself, well, Pog, why not just update the mods or use different mods? Well, that's the thing, folks. Consistency is key with me. I want my, oh, hold on, my dog is coming in here. I think you've been able to hear him eating this entire time and now he's coming in here snorting. They say that when a dog like sneezes and snorts like that, he's letting you know he wants to play. He's not trying to be <clears throat> actually vicious with you. So they'll like jump into your arms and then they'll sneeze on you. Anyways, yeah, it's Kratos. Um, like I said, this wasn't gonna be very professional, but I just need to make this rant. Anyways, where was I? Oh, consistency is key to me, folks. It's important. And if I can't use the mods, some mods, yeah, I could do without somewhat. But some of those mods are pretty important for for the aesthetic that I was going for to, to continue. And it's not that I can't get Skyrim to, to load at all. It just, it goes to the startup screen. And then, like, I'll do something like start new game just to test it. And then while the game is loading... It'll, it'll load up the game, 
it'll start to play and then it just crashes, it shuts off and I don't know what else to do. I've talked to the SKSE people, um, they, they've given me some help, told me to update some mods and I've done all that, it still does the same thing. I don't really know what else to do. I don't use Mod Manager 2, I use Vortex. And I'm thinking maybe that's the problem, but I really don't know how to how to switch it around. I'm not a modding genius. I'm not even really a computer whiz. I don't know if you've noticed this or not, but my videos aren't exactly like the the Da Vinci of uh, video making. You know, I just I just tinker around and I find things that I like, and that's the problem. Is that as I was doing this show, I was tinkering and and playing with the mods and and trying innovative things. Uh, for instance, in 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 this show, which is called the Forgotten Sa uh, the Forgotten Crusader, in this show, it, it starts off in Falkreath, and Braxis starts up kind of a little love affair with Nari. Now, Nari is a regular NPC. You can't marry her. She's got a very limited dialogue box, all this stuff, but I have found ways of tinkering with the mods and things to make her more interactive with Braxis, and it was it was working. That's the crazy thing. It was working, and I was actually making this very limited NPC have a lot of personality. And now here I am. I I'm really downtrodden by it. I as you've noticed, I haven't posted anything in a while because it depressed me so much because I was about to get to work on this Skyrim and post a new episode and I, honestly, I haven't done anything else because I've been trying to get it to work so hard and I'm I'm really like I'm really downtrodden by this fact that I just can't seem to get this to work. And I'm about at the verge of just giving up on the show all in in in, in, in all its entirety. At least for a little while until maybe I can figure it out, but I'm not going to be able to dedicate more time to it or the kind of time I've been dedicating to it. I'm going to have to move on. Which means that I have some ideas for more lore videos and more essay videos, psychological essay videos where I combine game and 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 psychology together to make like these psychological uh, essay videos, and then I do lore videos uh, and things like that. Check out my newest one, Joker. I'll put it up here somewhere. But. I, I don't know. I just don't know. As it is, I have to get another video out, not just this one. So I'm going to do a a quick little retro review uh, deal. I won't say what it is going to be about. I'll just post it and let you all see it. I'm not trying to be short or curt with you. I'm just... Like I said, I'm just really disappointed. I'm disappointed in Bethesda. I'm so tired of how money-hungry these these gaming companies are they're getting as bad as the car companies and the banks and then I'll, I'll i'm gonna go ahead and say it they're as bad as the dang old government really so it's just it feels like everything is just trying to squeeze money out of us and it it hurts us because we're we're fans of these things and we've been playing this game and, and trying to do cool things with it for i don't know how long and and they turn around and they pull this crap so, uh, with that said, here's my petition. If anybody's watching this and listening to this and you're a modding genius, <laughs> feel free to hit me up. Uh, maybe you can help me out. I don't know. Hit me up. Uh, I'll put you on my Discord and we'll screen share and you can just kind of go th and I'll just walk you step through step by step through what's going on let you look at some of my files and whatnot and maybe you'll notice something that I definitely won't notice. Anyway, uh, yeah, as it stands right now, uh, the Skyrim show, the Forgotten Crusader, book one, it's, it's done for now. Sorry. I love you all, and y'all come back now. Stay golden.